Hello everyone. Today I am going to lecture on the topic schools of psychology. Uh, we already discussed about the schools of psychology, the early schools of psychology, structuralism and functionalism. We know that what is structuralism and what is functionalism. And today we are going to discuss about another schools of psychology. Uh, by another approach, the structuralism and functionalism were soon consigned to the dustbin of the history of psychology. The, and the approach is known as or the schools of thought is known as behaviorism. It is nothing but it argued for the idea that or the view that psychology should focus on the overt activities, overt observable behavior. And the idea or the view is put forward by John B. Watson, a brilliant psychologist. According to John B. Watson, psychology should focus on the uh, observable behavior, not on the consciousness, not on the experiences. And uh, Watson's views quickly won acceptance, general acceptance. It is because of many psychologists already lose interest in studying consciousness by using the research method introspection. Many other uh, behaviors supported the view. B. S. Skinner, a famous behaviorist, supported uh, Watson's view by advancing the idea or advancing the view then human behavior can be explained by reinforcement and punishment he argued that internal mental processes cannot be studied scientifically they should not part of psychology okay uh, b s skinner argued that internal mental processes cannot be studied scientifically they should be, they should not be part of psychology so we can define behaviorism as it is the view that only observable behavior or only observable overt activities that can be measured scientifically should be studied psychology based upon the work of Watson, B. S. Skinner, Pavlo, behaviorism holds that all behavior, all behaviorism can be explained by environmental causes rather than internal mental processes because according to them in, there is an external stimuli behind the any kind of behavior so we can say that behaviorism hold that all behavior can be explained by environmental causes so behaviorism become dominant school of thought during the 1950s and nowadays also behaviorism become very popular and the ideas of behaviorism and the major theories of behavior behaviorism are also very popular and let us conclude today we have uh, discussed about the uh, schools of thought behaviorism and the idea put forward by john b watson and the other famous behaviorists are B.S. Skinner, Ivan Petrovich Pavlo. Ivan Petrovich Pavlo is famous for his operant conditioning, the idea of operant conditioning and uh, Pavlo is famous for his idea classical conditioning. Uh, we will discuss these topics in the area of learning, learning process. We define behaviorism. Behaviorism is nothing but the psychology should focus on the overt activities or overt behavior of an organism of the organism is known as behavior. I hope this video helped you to uh, learn the major schools of psychology. I and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you for watching my video.